Hello guys, welcome to class number 6. We are already done with one chapter which is information systems. That was your chapter number 2. So in this class, let us start with one more chapter and I guess you could have understood what chapter I am going to take now. So can I say background image clearly says chapter number 8 which is management information systems. Sir, again, very interesting chapter, sir. Uh, there were days where this chapter was asked for also 24 marks in exam. Minimum, it comes for 8 marks and maximum, it goes up to 24 marks. But on an average, from last 3-4 attempts, this chapter is being asked for 13 marks. Okay, sir, 13 marks is a very good weightage and very easy to understand, sir. No big answers as such. Yes, you have many side headings to be remembered. But that we can easily remember through our scenario based learning set, okay, as we did in chapter number 2. So, without wasting any single minute, sir, let us discuss chapter number 8 management information systems, okay. Sir, can I say MIS ka little bit basics we have discussed in chapter number 2. There, I was discussing one software called TPS. And also along with that, we discussed MIS. Now, can I say TPS was that type of a software which used to record what, sir, day-to-day -day transaction, which used to record day-to-day -day transaction. And it was only giving us value-added reports or normal reports, sir. Sir, it was giving you only normal reports, sir. You can say normal or you can say routine regular reports. You can use a word routine regular reports. So MIS was always giving us routine regular reports. Matlab, sir, as a manager, I want wise wise information like month wise report, year wise report, customer wise report, comparison wise report. So as a wise wise report, who was not ready to give sir TPS? Then we came to one conclusion. TPS ka now TPS may input is taken processing is done output is given this output is very uh, what you say normal report sir or routine regular reports so is ka output will now become MIS ka input so there will be input again there will be processing again you will generate output sir so can I say TPS ka output will become MIS ka input sir TPS ka output will become MIS ka input and then there will be something called processing and output generation. Sir. Now beauty about MIS is it will give you wise wise reports. So what could not be done by TPS is now done by MIS. Sir. So it will give you those wise wise reports like month wise, year wise, comparison wise, ledger wise, customer wise and data wise data wise so whatever you want sir that type of report who is ready to give sir mis is ready to give sir so can i say this is what i mean by value added reports value added reports now such reports is what i mean by mis okay now sir and mis reports management information systems reports sir okay now now a Sansani case khulasa I would like to tell you sir. A very important point let us discuss sir. Sir my question to you people is do you think MIS should be computerized? Very basic question I am asking you sir. Do you think MIS should be computerized? Now 99% of the people will say yes because we are reading it's a so definitely computerized hona chahiye sir. But my answer is not compulsory. My answer is not compulsory. Sir, kya maja kar rahe aap? Yes. Sir, MIS can be computerized. Now, MIS can be non-computerized. It is simple ma. Sir, what are MIS reports? MIS reports are nothing but what sir? Wise wise reports. So, now tell me sir. Customer wise report. Month wise report. Product wise report. Sir, don't you think SR reports can be done by humans also? Even humans can do this. Yes, efforts will be very high. But can I say humans can prepare such reports, sir? Sir, also they can be done with the help of computers. 
तो इफ एट ऑल समबडी सेज दैट एम आई एस रिपोर्ट जनरेशन के लिए हंड्रेड परसेंट कंप्यूटर्स आर रिक्वायर्ड देन दैट इज कंप्लीटली ए रॉन्ग नोशन सर तो इवन विद द इंटरवेंशन ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग्स यू कैन प्रिपेयर स्टिल एम आई एस रिपोर्ट सर सो दैट कंक्लूजन वॉज वेरी मच रिक्वायर्ड सर सर वी नाउ प्रोसीड फर्दर सर सो वॉट इज द अंडरस्टैंडिंग वी गॉट सर वॉट कुड नॉट बी डन बाई टी पी एस इज नाउ डन विद द हेल्प ऑफ वन सॉफ्टवेयर कॉल्ड एम आई एस सर क्लियर है बच्चा ना so introduction points i have already given you in chapter number 2 so let us again go back to those answers and so first point sir mis kya hai sir it is an information system which takes its input from whom sir tps and provides management with such type of reports which they want sir hai na sir here management matlab management means all levels of management top also middle also bottom also because wise wise reports may be required by middle bottom and top sir sir now will it have internal information or external information it is taking its input from tps tps has internal reports this ka matlab mis also will have internal reports sir will this help management in taking structured decision or unstructured with internal information we have already found one conclusion ki it will help you in taking only structured decisions तो चैप्टर टू एक बार यू हैव टू गो थ्रू व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर्ड एंड अनस्ट्रक्चर्ड सर रूटीन रेगुलर डिसीजंस आर स्ट्रक्चर्ड डिसीजंस सर नॉवल वंस इन अ लाइफ टाइम यू टेक दे आर अनस्ट्रक्चर्ड डिसीजन टुडे प्रिपेयरिंग मेडिसिन फॉर कोरोना इज ए अनस्ट्रक्चर्ड डिसीजन सर फॉर नॉर्मल कॉफ एंड फीवर इट इज ए स्ट्रक्चर्ड डिसीजन कैन आई से दे वेर सिमिलर टू टीपीएस और एक्सटेंशन ऑफ टीपीएस they are one step ahead of tps or extension of tps sir can i say they are giving right information to right person at right time example i gave you was tally because tally can give you those wise wise reports sir so with this introduction let us go more forward sir so can i say now basic points we have understood with respect to mis now next important question which comes in exam for 8 marks is characteristics of mis very very important question for your coming exam sir so july exam ke liye this is very very important what do you what are the characteristics of mis now again these are all eight side headings which you have to remember sir okay now let us uh, talk about each points in a better manner sir first you should understand difference between characteristics and difference between features you should understand difference between characteristics and difference between features what do you mean by characteristics and what do you mean by features sir okay now sir characteristics matlab those things characteristics matlab those things which those things which we require in mis features matlab those things which are already which are already existing in mis which are already existing in mis so those are things which you require in mis and those are things which are already there in mis sir okay now let us try to understand sir sir those things which we require in mis matlab these are good things which you require or bad things now can i say whenever it is a desire it will be always a good desire only sir so these are all good things which you want in particular mis sir features may be good may be bad okay example sir sir imagine your uh, ek pen sir pen mein kya kya hone chahiye sir sir pen should be of that quality uh, pen should be of that thing which is able to be written properly sir grip proper hona chahiye hai na long lasting hona chahiye ink should be proper sir sir scent bhi aana chahiye now can i say these are all desires which you are having from a particular pen sir this is what i mean by characteristics what is there in the pen is what i mean by features now can i say some people may like that pen may not like that pen that is what i am talking about features may be good also and bad also so presently we are focusing on characteristics of mis so iska matlab mis plus characteristics is equal to effective mis 
मतलब अगर एक एम में इफ वन इंडिविजुअल एम हैज ऑल दीज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स देन दैट एम विल बिकम एफेक्टिव एम है ना इट विल बिकम द बेस्ट इट विल बिकम द बेस्ट तो नाउ लेट अस सी व्हाट आर ऑल दोज पॉइंट्स एट लीस्ट सेवन पॉइंट्स इफ यू आर एबल टू रिमेंबर दैट इज मोर देन एनफ फॉर योर एग्जाम तो फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज मैनेजमेंट ओरिएंटेड which you can also say comprehensiveness in your material sir what do you mean by management oriented and second wala let us say management directed okay so two points let us take side by side sir one is management oriented and another wala is management directed management oriented matlab meant for whom meant for all levels of management मतलब विच एम आई एस विल बी गुड दैट एम आई एस विच इज यूज बाई ओनली मिडिल लेवल मैनेजमेंट और दैट एम आई एस विच इज यूज बाई ऑल लेवल्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट ऑल लेवल्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट दैट एम आई एस विच मीन्स रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ वन लेवल ऑफ मैनेजमेंट दैट एम आई एस विच मीन्स रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ ऑल लेवल्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट ऑल लेवल्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट दैट इज वॉट आई मीन बाई मैनेजमेंट ओरिएंटेड ओरिएंटेड मतलब किसके लिए मैनेजमेंट के लिए एवरी को समूह मैनेजमेंट को समूह तो दिस इज व्हाट आई मीन बाय मैनेजमेंट ओरिएंटेड मींस एक गुड एम आई एस शुड मीट द रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ ऑल लेवल्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट तो होना चाहिए या है होना चाहिए दर इज अ रीजन वी आर डिस्कसिंग अंडर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स हेडिंग सर सर मैनेजमेंट डिरेक्टेड डिरेक्टेड मतलब डायरेक्शन सो एम शुड प्रोवाइड वॉट टाइप ऑफ रिपोर्ट that type of report which management wants so can i say it should function it matlab mis it should function as per the directions of management sir as per the directions of management matlab should provide should provide those reports which management wants to provide those reports which management wants sir i hope you understood this two points sir agreed so some mis may not provide all those reports say for example management wants customer wise report but that report is not coming from mis sir is it a good mis or bad mis sir bad because it is not working as per the directions of management see you have prepared mis for management it should meet the requirements of management sir. so we are done with two points sir comprehensiveness matlab it should cover all levels of management sir and second point which we have discussed it it should confer to the managers styles or it should be management directed clear hai now sir third point sir should i develop mis as a whole so two points are over now let us discuss third point and fourth point simultaneously so sub system concept so we are writing sub system concept sub system concept and fourth wala is integrated fourth wala is integrated sir now what do i mean by these two points sir now tell me sir should i develop mis as a whole should i develop mis as a whole or should i develop mis in parts matlab should i eat total chapati in one single uh, bite or should i break the chapati into different different parts and then have it sir obviously in different different parts small small parts so that digestion becomes easy similarly i should develop mis in parts in short us parts ko we call as subsystem or modules sub system or modules can i say in icsi website or icai website mein when you go there sir can i say on the top you will be finding various modules about us students members and uh, now as a various uh, tabs will be there sir so can i say those tabs is what i mean by modular approach 
so you can say subsystem concept or you can say modular approach so here what you can write sir mis should not be developed as a whole but mis should be developed in parts but don't you think one part should be integrated with another part sir that is what i mean by fourth point sir so even though mis is developed in parts but as a whole it should function sir so integrated matlab one module should be integrated with other module sir one module should be integrated with other module sir in other words sir individual module should only give information or as a whole also you should be able to extract information as a whole also sir so these are your third and fourth points sir so subsystem concept ko you can also call as modular approach and modules should be integrated sir now fifth point sir now this is very interesting point sir sir tell me sir <clears throat> they say if you remember start my told you mis can be with computers or mis reports you can get by manual efforts also sir tell me which mis will be good sir mis which is with human intervention or mis with computers sir obviously with computers don't you think aisa mis acha hoga hai nahi hoga so can i say fifth sidedding is computerized so can i say computerized is not a feature computerization is a characteristic sir so dekhiye fifth point mein what is written sir computerized though mis can be implemented without computers use of computers will increase effectiveness and efficiency of system sir so you will get accurate report consistent report timely information hai na this all things are possible if you use mis with computers if you use mis with computers can i say very easy to remember management oriented management directed divide into parts that is subsystem and all should function together and fifth computer laga do sixth point sir flexible can i say mis you have developed now later on if you want to make some modifications those modifications should be done easily or it should take more time sir answer is easily so your mis should never be rigid it should change it should change according to requirements of what sir management here management are users so mis should change according to requirements of management or users sir i hope you understood sir and last point you can say sir transforming data into information matlab one particular information ko you should provide in multiple ways can i say tally one journal entry we show in various ways like balance sheet also pnl also trial balance also ledger also matlab ek hi information ko you have to show in multiple ways because we never know ki which report will be useful for management to take decisions sir so can i say this is your seventh point so now fatafat tell me sir did we have any memory technique no sir mis wants to become the best so it should have characteristics now question is what are those characteristics sir so first wala management oriented matlab it is meant for all levels of management bracket mein comprehensiveness management directed hai na two points sir third it should be developed in parts so can i say that is what i mean by sub system concepts that is what i mean by sub system concepts sir sir fourth wala point all those parts should be integrated sir all those parts should be integrated sir okay then so should it be only manual or better thing it is computerized answer it is it should be better thing is it should be computerized sir sir it should change according to requirements of user it should be flexible and provide individual data into multiple formats that is data into information so this could be your six marker question in exam if you are very lucky sir okay 
but still very 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 important question is characteristics of mis can i say no memory technique only concept and we are able to do it sir next one more small questions let us talk about sir myth myth ka matlab kya sir rumors hai na bhram galat afwahein hai na so rumors wrong beliefs bhram hai na galat afwahein galat fahmi so these are some wrong things which people are having with respect to mis so what are the rules wrong misconceptions which people are having sir so all three are misconceptions only sir sir pehla myth which people say is study of mis is study of computers <laughs> now can i say for all those mand buddhis answer is very simple mis can be implemented with computers without computers so how can be mis be study of computers sir so mis is not study of computers sir dekhiye aap so the study of management information system is about the use of computers so some people believe what sir you with mis once you learn mis you can learn everything about your computers answer is no can i say mis is just one tool which is used with computers sir sir if you learn mis that doesn't mean you learn everything in computers you learn only mis sir clear so point number 1 sir second point sir some people believe what the more data i give to mis the more information mis will give to us sir for those people my answer will be sir students believe in this fashion sir and the more i write in exam the more marks i will get sir don't you think quantity of data doesn't matter what matters is the quality of the data what type of quality ke sath you are giving the input agar your input mein hi error hai so can i say mis is not going to give you proper information so don't you think this is also a myth because some people believe what zyada data mis mein do acha information aayega the more in, in data you give to the software as an input the more better information you will get every time it will not happen sir it depends upon the quality of the data dekho the quantity does not matter what matters is the quality because more data means more confusion if it is having errors in it sir hai na third wala sir sir some people believe what mis will always give accurate report sir now answer is no sometimes mis mis may give you fair reports also because i told you mis software can be used by top middle and bottom now top level management does not require detailed information top level management require fair representation example sir सर अगर रतन टाटा कम्स एंड सेस टेल मी पीजे व्हाट पीजे मतलब माय नेम सर प्रवीण जैन नाउ ही मे से सर कि टेल मी पीजे व्हाट इज द सेल ऑफ टाटा मोटर्स एंड आई एम लाइक 99 करोड़ 99 लाख 99,000 999 रुपीस पॉइंट 99 पैसा तो यू थिंक इतना डिटेल्ड रिपोर्ट ही वांट्स नो 99.99 करोड़ दैट इज मोर देन एनफ So do you think always we want precise accurate information sir answer is no sir so in fact ye jo sentence hai accuracy in reporting is very important yes i agree with this sentence i can say it is not pakka correct not pakka wrong sir in fact it is partial matlab accurate reports are required but for middle bottom management for top management they don't want accurate reports what they want is fair reports but people believe that mis should always give accurate reports sir answer is no so mis gives fair reports to top management mis gives accurate reports to middle level so this sentence if you write sentence as it is it means it is a false thing only clear hai bachcha so these are three myth galat fahmi wrong beliefs which people have with respect to mis sir. okay so for more such videos please and a subscribe to our youtube channel which is pj classes so on youtube what you have to do is youtube dot com slash c slash pj classes okay sir also we have launched our demo classes sir so sorry also we have launched our google drive classes so if students are willing to take our google drive classes sir 
यू कैन प्लीज है ना एनरोल विद अस सर सो मोर डिटेल्स के लिए यू हैव टू विजिट माय ब्लॉग तो ब्लॉग आईडी डी इज प्रवीन आईफन ब्लॉग पॉट सॉरी सर तो ब्लॉग आईडी डी इज प्रवीन हाइफन जेन डॉट ब्लॉग स्पॉट डॉट आई एन सर तो यू विल बी फाइंडिंग डिटेल्स ऑफ अवर गूगल ड्राइव क्लासेस दे सर ओके सर वन थिंग इज फॉर श्योर सर वी आर गोइंग विथ टारगेट एग्जाम्शन तो आवर टारगेट इज नॉट लेस देन वॉट वच्चा एग्जाम्शन क्लियर तो काइंडली शेयर दिस वीडियो विथ ऑल युअर फ्रेंड्स हु आर राइटिंग सी एस प्रोफेशनल इट्स अ पेपर सर लेट्स एन्श्योर दैट इन दिस एग्जाम वी आर गोइंग फॉर एग्जाम्शन सर नाउ सर मोर डेमो वीडियोज आई विल कीप ऑन अपलोडिंग ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल में सो प्लीज फील फ्री to subscribe our channel any further queries sir number is scrolling sir that is a whatsapp number you may call also or enquire also through whatsapp sir thank you very much sir fir milenge chalte chalte